What's up everybody? We're here, short video of the day on the uh, Project Axis, which if you haven't watched, this is the uh, latest project, which is a Savage Axis. Cut the barrel down to 18 inches and uh, threaded it. But this is just a cheap muzzle brake that's on here for now. It'll be suppressed later. But basically what we're doing here is uh, trying to make this a uh, really solid hunting rifle. Which uh, it was okay the way it was, but I wanted to do as many updates as I could to it. So just going through the list real quick. Obviously it's in a Boyd stock, which uh, I don't know how to look at it. This is their spike camp. It's a pretty cheap stock but pretty well built i have bedded the action so um i've done that and a couple other updates that i've done is uh i bought you know a big complaint with these are the uh it's the lift on the bolt and that has been there's also nothing in there just so you know uh, a company called dash d-e-s-h industries makes a kit for these bolts that will really reduce the amount of effort it takes to open the bolt <clears throat> and uh they're pretty damn cheap i think 20 something bucks and uh, in my opinion well worth it and they're easy to do um again it's not great not perfect still but it is a significant improvement so to me well worth the money uh, the other thing that's well worth the money is the m carbo spring kit i installed and this thing went from about a six pound spring to I'm on here, nice crisp one and a half pounds. And the kit does come with a two and a half and three and a half pound spring, but I chose to go with a one and a half pound. So, uh, trying to think, it's got arcing glass. This is the LH4, um, which is a uh, uh, still first focal plane, has illuminated reticle, cap turrets. But usable dials, I mean usable turrets if you don't want to use the, uh, you know, if you want to run them without the cap. You know, it's 15 minutes per rev. So, uh, really nice turrets on that. Not as good as the SH4, the EP5, but, but still really good. Um, I'm really liking this little scope. I'll probably be buying some more. But uh, uh, anything else I can't really think of. I've always got a, that's a Magpul bipod. That's it. That's just the bipod that I'm going to use now if I'm working on someone else's rifle and they don't have a bipod. I, I don't shoot with sleds. Can't stand them, so I keep this bipod around. This likely will never have a bipod on it. If I had to guess, it's going to be a box blind princess. But anyways, I, I uh, loaded some hand loads and I shot those yesterday, but the conditions were terrible. It was extremely windy. I was going to record, but the wind noise was, was horrible. Like, you know, I, I do all my videos off my cell phone, so I don't have any microphones and probably need to get one. But uh, it did pretty well. Uh, I'm going to load up some more for further testing. I had one particular uh, charge or load recipe, whatever, can't talk, that did uh, really, really promising. So I wanted to get some videos out there of me shooting this this weekend. So I went ahead and I went in town and bought some federal gold medal match which this has the 130 grain burgers. And so we're gonna shoot some at 600 yards, put a little group down, not zeroed for these at all, haven't shot them at all yet. So I'll probably take a shot or so to see where we're at and then uh, put together a little group. Let me see, a little burger, 130. But anyhow, uh, so I guess it'll be, we'll see how this thing does. I was actually really pleased with it, shooting it yesterday, but Y'all can see what kind of accuracy I get at it with these. Maybe it'll like them, maybe it won't. But, uh, and then I guess also while we're at it, we can see how consistent this ammo is velocity-wise. Now, obviously, it's not going to run 28-25 like they have on the box because of the short barrel. But we'll see uh, We'll see how, what kind of consistency it gets. So we do still have a little bit of wind. You might be hearing it. Uh, nowhere near as bad as yesterday, so we're going to give it a shot and uh, see if we can put a group down at 600.
I'm uh, very, very pleased with that. It, uh, it took me a little bit to get on target. Like I said, I'm not zeroed for these. I just bought this box, but once I did, uh, I was able to spot impact, make an adjustment, and put six down. Very, very happy with that group. Um, as far as numbers go with the federal gold medal match, not too bad. I mean, we're at uh, an average of 27.56, which is not as slow as I thought. We didn't lose all that much <clears throat> versus the box, which, you know, box numbers are, eh, anyways. But, yeah, 27.56, the standard deviation of 11, an extreme spread that I don't particularly like, but about 40.8. And, of course, my selfie cam's on, so I'll leave that there for a little bit. Maybe you can make that out. But, overall, very, very impressed. Um, very happy with how that shot. Uh, the little savage that could. So, that's probably about it on this channel. I might break it out again sometime in the future. But, that rifle's life is pretty much designated to uh, whitetail hunting. It might do some coyote hunting here or there. But, for the most part, it probably won't get shot um very often really so unless i just decide to shoot it one day but so this upcoming week though the new project hopefully will be done that's the 260 improved hoping to get it back this week i got a lot i got 200 cases i need to fire for them so we'll be doing a lot of that got to get prepared for the upcoming nrl hunter match that i'm going to shoot in so really looking forward to doing that It'll be the first time i've uh, done that actually have one pretty close to where I live so it'll be nice to uh, finally get to do that so I'm really looking forward to it but like I said I don't know I'm, I'm gonna load up some more hand loads and uh, I might record that we'll see but uh, for the most part I think I think Mr. Savage is done but very very happy like I said upgrades I really recommend Dash Industries that bolt lift kit it's cheap enough that it, and it does a good enough job it's well worth it and uh, if you don't want to spend a bunch of money on a whole new trigger, buy the M Carbo trigger spring kit. Again, well worth the money. I think it a total of maybe 30 bucks or something like that. I have to look, but I know it wasn't much. And uh, easy, easy to do and well worth the money. So, again, I am very, very pleased. Like, honestly, like I have been with all the budget rifles that I've done. Every one of them, after, you know, show them, show them a little love, have shot really, really well. So, this one's no different. But also, I uh, forgot about this too. There'll be another new gun coming on the channel. And new rifle, which will be the Savage 110 Trail Hunter. I'll pick it up tomorrow. So, maybe this coming weekend, uh, we will get some shots of that in. And I'll uh, let y'all know what I think about it. But as always, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And y'all take care.